Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome to your grammar class. Hello, good morning. Okay, good morning, Diego. Good morning, Valentina. How are you today? Fine? <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, excellent. So today we are start a new unit. This one is the unit number 10. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, good morning, Milena. Excellent. Okay, welcome to your grammar class. So we start with unit 10. Yeah, this one is on page 110. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's see Michelle Franco. Welcome. Nicole Flores, welcome. Aaron, welcome. Okay, that's good. So let's see. Let's start with the class, yeah? Okay, let me share. Okay, so let's see. This one, grammar class, and we start unit number 10. And in this case, we discuss about simple present information question. Okay, that's mean when we use the WH questions, yes? And we talk about cultural holidays in that case. So let's see, open your notebook and you develop the cover page of the unit. That is one is unit 10. You have exactly five minutes for developing. So please write the date. Okay, also write a lemma, then you write unit 10 and the name of the unit. That is simple present information questions. Good morning. Yes. Okay. Remember, in every unit, we develop the cover page. So, right now, you have exactly five minutes. Yes. And then we continue. Okay, that's good. Thank you for writing present here. Okay, good morning. Excellent. So, let's see. Okay, you have exactly five minutes for developing a cover page on your notebook. This one is unit 10, simple present information questions. Remember the last units we study simple present. Okay, what are the usages of this one? Okay, also the frequency adverbs. Yeah, but today we talk about WH questions in that case. Specifically, cultural holidays, yes? For example, here in El Salvador, we have always celebrate different holidays. Okay, mention one of them. What are the holidays that we celebrate here? That is, uh, let me see, typical in El Salvador, not in other countries, yes? Okay, Diego. El Dia Nacional de la Pupusa. Ah, yeah, okay, this one is only for us, yes. Okay, El Dia Nacional de la Pupusa, yes, okay. This one is exclusive for Salvador, yes. Okay, and this is on September, yeah? Okay, I think, yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, and do you like pupusas? Yes. Okay, remember, we have different types, yes? Rice pupusas and also, okay, corn pupusas, yeah? <laughs> okay. Yes, and nowadays, okay, you can, let me see, taste different kind of pupusas. For example, uh, let me see, chicken, yes, okay. Mora, that this one is a kind of leaf, yeah. Okay, chipiline with cheese, all of this one. Okay, excellent. When you finish the cover page, okay, to tell me, yeah, because we continue. Okay, cultural holidays. And in this unit, we discuss about Mexico, okay? And a specific activity that the Mexican people develop. Okay, thank you, Aaron. That's good. Excellent. Okay, yesterday I sent your grades, yes? Of your grammar evaluation. Okay, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's see, we continue, yes? That's good. So in that case, this one is, what is your favorite holiday or celebration? Okay, for example, what is your favorite holiday or your favorite celebration? That's mean the celebration that you enjoy, that you enjoy a lot, okay? Maybe every birthday, yeah? Okay, that we celebrate in family. 
Okay, you said Christmas, exactly. Okay, because you receive gifts, presents, okay, yes. You spend time with your family, exactly. Okay, so your, your favorite celebration is Christmas. Okay, that's good. So let's see, and in that case, this one is, uh, let me see, it's kind of a blog, okay, or this one is an interview of a Mexican person, yeah, and in this case, uh, this person talks about the a specific celebration in this country, yeah, so that's mean. I need two participants, one boy that, let me see, performs Dr. Lopez, and the other one, Michelle, okay, so Valentina Navas, you are Michelle, and let me see, Dr. Lopez, Diego de Leon, yes? Okay, so imagine that you are in an interview, yeah? So you perform that. Okay, let's start. Hello, everyone. This is Coffee Time. Our topic day is celebration around the world. Today, our guest is Elena Lopez from a university in Mexico. She's here to tell us about the day of death. Welcome, Dr. Lopez. Okay, Dr. Lopez. Uh, th thank you. It's nice to be here. First all, where do people celebrate the day of the dead? Okay, Dr. Lopez, are you there? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's check. <laughs> Dr. Lopez is thinking about the answer, yeah? <laughs> okay, let's see, Diego, can you activate your sound? <laughs> now, they celebrate it in many parts of the world, such as in Mexico. Okay. When do people celebrate it and how do they celebrate it? Well, the day of the of the dead takes place on two days, November one and two. We remember our dead relatives, our ancestors and friends. People build little altars in the home, and in public school they also clean and decorate the graves. What do they put on these altars and graves? Well, for example, the candles are a guide for our ancestors. They guide them home. There are bells, too. They call the dead. Okay, so let's see. They put candles, Diego, food, drinks, flowers. Okay, this one is a paragraph, yeah? Ah, ah. They put <laughs> candles, food, drinks, flowers, and pictures of the dead. There are sweets in the shape of schools, too. The traditions are a little different in every region of Mexico. What do the different things mean? Well, for example, the candles are guide for our ancestors. They guide them, they guide them home. There are bells, too. They call the dead. What do the school symbolize? Do they symbolize dead? Well, yes, but they also symbolize rebirth according to the first day of the dead, thousands of years ago. Okay, thank you. Excellent. So let's see. This one is an interview, yeah, to a Mexican person. And in that case, okay, mention the, uh, let me see, the activities that they developed during the celebration, yeah. For example, the first question says, where do people celebrate the day of the dead? Okay, they celebrate in many parts of the world, but specifically in one country, that in this case is Mexico, yeah. The other question, when do people celebrate it, okay? And how do they celebrate it, okay? And the person mentioned that it's on November 1st, November 2nd, yeah? Okay, they celebrate the relatives or maybe the ancestors, yeah? This one is in a specific celebration uh, for the memory of this person in that case. And they decorate the graves. This one is the most important things, okay? And also, uh, let me see, they shirt, okay? Or they put different things for decorating, candles, food, drinks, etc. Yeah, this one is a tradition in Mexico. 
And also, okay, the, this, the Dr. Lopez, okay, mentioned that, okay, the meaning of the different things that they put in an altar, for example, candles, okay, means that this one is a guide. Uh, let me see the bells, this one called the dead, okay, all of this one has a meaning, okay, or have a meaning. And in that case, okay, according to the first date of the dead, thousands so of years ago, okay, this one is a celebration that they, uh, let me see, that symbolize the death in that case of the relatives of this person. And we have in that case different definitions, for example, ancestor. This one is any member of your family from long ago. Okay, an altar, you know that this one is a type of table that people use in religious ceremonies. Okay, you have a picture here, then you have the grave. This one is a place where you bury or dead person or people, yeah, specifically in a cemetery. Then you have a school, this one is a bone. Okay, of the of the hell and then we have the meaning of symbolize okay you know that this one is a sign yeah okay so this one is an interview and in that case you see in bold letters okay the questions for example we use the wh word where okay when what okay and also uh let me see we have another one how yeah, these one are some examples of WH question. These words you use, okay, for informative question. That means when you need to know some uh, or extra information specifically, you don't answer in short form. Okay, yes, I do. No, I don't. No, this one is in the older one. Yes, but this one is informative. So you need to give extra information. So let's continue. You have this one on page number 111 this one is the comprehension part so you give me the answer number one what on the day of the death people remember okay their parents their dead relatives or their children what is the best option b their parents. okay their parents okay the first option is b exactly okay their dead relatives. Remember, this one is the most important, uh, let me see, part in the celebration, yes? The dead relatives in that case. So that's mean this one is B. Okay, number two, people put pictures of the dead on altars, A. on suites, on A. skulls. A, the, exactly. On altars. Exactly, on altars, yes, okay. The day of the dead takes place every month, one day a year, or on November 1st and 2nd. November 1st November and 2nd. Okay, November 1st and 2nd, exactly. Next one, people decorate, paint, or celebrate their ancestors. Decorate. Grave. Decorate, exactly. Okay, remember, they put different things. Yeah, flowers, sweets, uh, photos, pictures, okay, all of this, etc. So they decorate. Then, okay, you notice. What is the specific WH word that we use? For example, when you, let me see, inquire a question about time, you use what, when, or where? Time, what is the WH word that we use? What, when, or where? When, when. when. Okay, when, exactly. This one is about time, when. Let's see, number two. Okay, when you, let me see, need to know about places. What, where, when, where. okay, where. where, yes. And the last one, okay, things. Where, what, 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 okay, what, exactly. Okay, remember, where is only for places, yes. Okay, so let's see, time, you use when. Okay, when do you get up? Okay, I get up at 7 a.m. Okay, about places. Where uh, do you study? I study in El Camino School, yeah? And things, okay? What are the, supply, the school supplies that you have? Okay, I have a pen, uh, let me see, color markers, etc. Yes? Okay, that's good. So let's see. Excellent, let's continue. So let's see, in that case, and explain you this part. This one is the grammar presentation of the topic and says that information questions begin with a WH word, okay? And we have different, who, what, when, where, why, or how, yeah? And they ask for information and cannot be answered with a simple yes or with a simple no. Yes, okay. Where do people celebrate the day of the dead? You don't say yes. 
no, this one is not possible. Or maybe you say, no, you need to give information. For that reason, we call information questions, yeah? Okay, you have next example. When do Americans celebrate Independence Day? And you answer, that means you give information, okay? Americans celebrate Independence Day on July 4th, yeah, in that case. So let's see, and we have the structure, okay? This one is important because in some cases, uh, let me see, we are confused. What is the form or what is the, let me see the structure that we need to follow, okay, in a sentence. For example, first one is the WH word, who? what, when, what time, where, why, and how. All of this one are WH words, yeah? And then we use an auxiliary. Remember, we are in simple present, yeah? We are studying right now, simple present, not other tense, yeah? So this one is important, okay? Because this one is the only tense that we study right now, yeah? For example, in the evaluation, okay, you write the verse in past, but we don't study the past tense, okay? We only study the simple present, so you need to pay attention to this one. So let's see, you use an auxiliary, then in this case it's do or does, yeah? So remember, this one is, this, is the, uh, let me see, it's the pen of the subject, yeah? If you use I, you, we, they, so you use the auxiliary, do. And if you use he, she, or it, you use does yes and then you have the bird and the bird is in the base form and then you have the complement yeah for example what do you uh see at a school yeah so you have a question here uh what time do they celebrate that holiday yeah where does she live okay or how does uh let me see he let me see study Okay, for example, all of these ones are questions, but you need to follow, okay, the structure, yes? Okay, so you, uh, let me see, have a question. If we have a homework this week, no. Remember, in evaluations week, we don't have homework, yeah? So we have a homework next week, not this one, yes? Exactly. Okay, so let's see, excellent. Uh, let me see, if you have another question, you tell me. Okay, that's good. Excellent. So if you have some internet problems, then I record the class and I send to you. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This one is the structure. WH word. The auxiliary do or does. Then we have the subject. Then the verbs for of a verb. Remember, we use an action verb in that case. Okay. Because we use an auxiliary do or does. It's not possible that we use the verb be. No. Okay. Remember with the verb be, the, uh, let me see the questions are different. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the complement. So let's see, now we study what is the use of these uh, kind of questions, okay? For example, use a WH word, we do before I, you, we, they, and plural nouns, okay? When do you celebrate a holiday? Okay, and you answer, yes, okay? Use a WH word with does before he, she, or it, and singular nouns, okay? Why does? She is studying Spanish, yeah? So we don't confuse in that part. B, use simple present, okay, information questions to ask for a specific information, okay? So that's mean this one is not general, it's a specific. Where do you live, okay? So that's mean you mention exactly, okay, not the address, but exactly the country or maybe the city. Where do you live? I live in Mexico City, okay? I live in San Salvador. I live in Paris. I live in, I don't know, another city. Uh, let me see, Miami, yeah? So all of this one, you give a specific information, yeah? Okay, what time do you start work? Okay, I start work at 7 a.m. Why well, you start working at 8.30, exactly, yeah? So you give a specific information. Then we have, use simple present information questions to ask about habits, about facts, about traditions and regular activities. Yes, okay, remember the simple present tense and specifically the present information questions, okay, you use when you talk about habits, when you talk about facts, traditions and regular activities, yeah? But remember in present, not in past. Okay, when do they celebrate the day of the dead? Okay, and the answer is in November. You mentioned the, the day, exactly the day, yeah, is possible, or only the month. Why does she travel to Mexico, okay, every year? 
because she has a family there. So that's mean, this one is a fact, yeah? So you answer in that form. You can answer information questions with a short or long answer. Okay, this one is important. So you give short answer, yes, but not only say yes, no, okay? So you give information. For that reason, we call informative questions. Okay, what do you eat on Thanksgiving? The short answer could be turkey and pie. Do you give information? Yes, but this one is short answer, yes. Okay, long answer. I eat turkey and pie. That's mean you use a subject, you use a verb, and you use the complement. Yeah, not only mention the specific information, okay, but you say a complete sentence. I eat turkey and pie. So you can answer in a short form or in a long form. But remember, the answer, okay, is informative. It's not only say yes or no. Yeah, okay, that's good. So let's see. Now, use who, okay, now. We check the use of every WH word. Use who to ask about people, yeah? Okay, so in that case, remember, who is specifically when you ask about people? When do you celebrate the holiday? Okay, and then it's not this one. Okay, I'm sorry. Who do you remember on the day of the death? Okay, I remember my grandmother, yeah? Because who, okay, that's means you need information of a person. Who, my grandmother, yeah? In that case, it's a long answer, yeah? I remember my grandmother. But if we say in short answer, my grandmother, and that's all, yeah? Okay, B, use what to ask about things. Okay, what do you study? Okay, short answer, Spanish and history. And if you give a long answer, you can say, okay, I study Spanish and history, yeah? That's been a complete sentence. And both answers are okay, yeah? Okay, now see when, when you ask about time, for example, days, month, okay, years, season, holidays, part of the date, etc. Yeah, when do you celebrate Chinese New Year? Or oh, I celebrate in January, okay, I celebrate in February, okay, or maybe in January, in February, and that's good, yeah. Use what time to ask about clock time okay that's mean specifically the time you mention exactly the hour what time does your class finish okay my class finishes okay at 4 30 yeah okay or my class finishes at five o'clock yeah okay but listen when you answer okay you check if the subject okay or maybe uh let me see the person that you talk okay or the subject in a sentence if it is in third person you answer with the verb in third person yes Okay, so you need to do the core. Uh, e, use where to ask about places. Where does she work? Okay, she works at the University of Mexico, yeah? Or at the University of Mexico, yes? Use why to ask about reasons. Why do you like celebrations? Okay, I like celebration because they are always fun, yes? Okay. Use how to ask about manner and the way people do something. How do you celebrate your birthday? Okay, we eat at my favorite restaurant. I celebrate my birthday with, uh, let me see, with my friends. Eating snacks, okay, eating soda, watching a movie, etc. Yeah, so that's mean you give information. So I think this part is clear, yeah? Who, when you ask about people. What, when you ask about things. Okay, when, about time but I have here a chart. Yeah, this one is for, for understanding. Okay, question word, who, person. Where, when you know about place. Why, is a reason. When, the time. What, okay, that's mean an object, an idea, an action. What time, specifically the time. How, that's mean the manner that the person developed the things. How often, that's mean the frequency. And how old, Okay, you know that this one is the age, yeah? So these one are the question word that we study in this unit. And this one is the meaning or the usages of them, yes? Okay, so let's see. Now on your notebook, you copy this summary, okay? Only uh, the oranges chart, yeah? Not the green, the green an example, yeah? You only copy the question word and the meaning. That's mean you copy who? Okay, that's mean you ask for a person. Where, place, why, reason. When, the time, what, an object, an idea, or an action. Okay, what time, specifically the time, how, that's mean the manner, how often, that's mean the frequency, and how old, that's mean the age, yes? 
Okay, so you copy this one, please, on your notebook. And when you finish, just tell me, yeah? So I give you exactly, I think five minutes is enough, yes? So start right now, please, only the oranges. Yes, columns. That's been question work and meaning. Yeah? Okay. It's not necessary writing the day because remember at the beginning of the class you write it. Yeah? Okay, that's good. So I mark. You copy only this one. Okay. And this one. Yes? These two things. And that's all. Yes? Okay. It's like a summary, okay, of the usages of the WH word. Yes? Okay, do you see the screen? Yes. Okay, excellent. Maybe you check your, let me see, your tablet or cell phone, okay. Okay, thank you, Diego. Because the other classmate can see, yeah. Okay, so you copy who? And next person, where, place, why, the reason, when is the time, what, okay, when you ask for an idea, an object, an action, and we have some examples here, for example, who's that man, okay, and you answer, that's Peter, yeah, this one is a long answer, but if it is short, you only say Peter, yeah, where do you live, okay, I live in London, in London, yeah, why are you here, because I need you. Yeah, when do you study? Okay, I study at nine. What do you eat for breakfast? Okay, I eat cereals. What time do you finish work? Okay, I finish uh, working at 6 p.m. How are you? I'm fine. How often do you go to the gym? Every day. How old is your sister? She's 27. If you see, this one is a combination of short and long answer. Yes, it is possible to answer in a short form, yeah. But remember, no with yes or no, because it's gonna informative questions. Yes. Okay, when when you see a WH word, okay, that's mean this one is informative question. So you give in an answer, information. Yes. Okay, that's good. And the idea is that you remember what is the use of everyone, every question word. Okay, remember who? Asking for person, where, place. Why, that's mean the reason of a situation, when, a specific time, okay, what, an object, idea, or action, what time, a specific time, how, okay, that's mean the manner, how often, the frequency that you develop an action, okay, and how old, that's mean the age, yes? Okay, excellent. Thank you, Avon, you did it, that's good. Okay, so let's see three minutes and then we continue. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Hey, don't finish this activity. Okay, Lucas Carvajal, thank you. Okay, excellent. The next week we continue with the unit. Yes. Okay. We continue solving that unit number 10. Excellent. Okay, let me see who else. Okay, Diego de Leon, you finish. Abby, yes. Okay. I finish. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay. So let's see, one minute, and then we have an activity. Okay, excellent. So today I introduce a unit number 10, yes? Next week, we continue with the exercises, we practice a lot, etc. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, Genesis Luna, can you copy this one? Okay, so let's see. 
Okay, then I, let me see, I take a photo and I send to you, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see, we finish. Let me stop here, yeah? And share an exercise. Okay. Check is that. Okay, so let's see. This one is WH question. We have one more time the structure, yes. Where do you work every day? Or what does your mom cook for lunch? Yes. Okay, so let's see. Now we read the the answer in that case, and we try to let me see to write a question. Yeah. Okay. For example. I study English. Okay, that's mean English is the object. So this one we use the WH word what? Okay, what do you study at the language center? I study English at the language center. Okay, what? So that's mean I study English. Next one. Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday. Okay, on Saturday, this one is time. What is the WH word that we use for time? When we ask about time, so you have when. Me okay, when exactly? So, what is the question in that case? When? What is the auxiliary? Do or does? Uh, do. Do exactly. Remember, we talk about Mike and Jake. Yes. Okay. When do? In that case, Mike and Jake, or maybe we can write day, yeah? It's possible. When do Mike and Jake? Play soccer on Saturday. Okay, play soccer, only play soccer, yeah? Because Not the answer, soccer, exactly, yes. because you mentioned the answer that is on Saturday, yeah? When do Mike and Jake play soccer? Mike and Jake play soccer on Saturday, that's good. Next one, Jesse gets up at 7 a.m. on weekdays. So what is the WH word? When? Okay. When? When? In a specific time? When time? When time? No. <laughs> what time? Okay. What time? What time, time. What time. <laughs> exactly. What time? One time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What time? And what is the auxiliary? Uh, does. Does. Okay. What time does? In that case, Jesse. Okay, we don't know if it is he or she, yeah? What time does Jesse? Get up. Okay, get up. Remember, when you get use up. the auxiliary uh, in up. a question, okay, you eliminate the S. What time does Jesse on get up? Get, on weekdays, weekday? exactly. We get on weekdays, yes. Okay, what time does Jesse get up on weekdays? Jesse gets up at 7 a.m. on weekdays, yeah? Okay, that's good. Number three, I live in a big house with my family, okay? In a big house. What is the WH word? Where? Okay, where? What is the, what is the auxiliary? Do or does? Do. do. Okay, where do? Where do, where do, where do you live? Okay, where do you live? Mm. With your family. Oh, exactly, okay. Where do you live with your family? Yes, okay, that means you change. Yeah, you don't say where do you live with my family? No, yeah. I live in a big house with my family because you answer, yes. Okay, number four, Luke goes to the cinema with friends on Tuesday evenings. Okay, what is the WH word? When. Okay, when, exactly. Because this one is not in a specific time. Yeah, so do, you don't mention the specific hour. So we use when. When, and what is the auxiliary? Does. Okay, when does look. Look. Okay, then. Go. Go. Uh. Go to the okay. cinema with, you, with your friends. Okay, go to cinema with friends. Friends. Your friends. Ah, exactly. friends. Okay, friends. So let's see. When does Luke go to the cinema with friends? Luke goes to the cinema with friends on Tuesday evenings. Yes? Okay, number five. Adam and Donna have cereal for breakfast. 
Okay, in that case, cereal. What is the WH word? What? Okay, what, exactly, what? because then it's an object. What? That. Do they? Okay, do they, exactly. What do they? Have for, have for breakfast. Exactly, have for breakfast, yes. Okay, what do they have for breakfast? Okay, Adam and Donna have cereal for breakfast. Yes, okay, it's easy, yeah, for the structure of the question, yes? Okay, that's good, excellent. So let's see, in that case, you practice. Okay, that's good, thank you, Lucas. So now, let me check. Okay, we play, so let's see. Boy versus girls, so first volunteers. Un chico y una chica. Okay, raise your hand. Do you want to participate? Okay, so let's see. I have some questions for you, yeah? And the first one that answer, okay, obtain or win a point, yeah? So let's see, I need a boy and a girl. So that's me, you can activate your sound, yeah? You can activate your microphone. So you answer, for example, if look at answer first, okay, so you obtain a point. Okay, so let's see, let's start. Let me check. Okay, Lucas Carvajal and Valentina Navas, you are the first for it. So let's see. Remember, you activate your sound and you give me the answer, yes? Okay, what shape is it? What shape is it? <laughs> what shape? Circle. Okay, circle. <laughs> yeah, this one is a circle. Let's see, what color is it? What color is it? Purple. Okay, purple, one and one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Next one. Okay, so let's see. Uh, where do you live? I live in my home. In my home. <laughs> <laughs> I live in my home. Okay, I live in El Salvador. I don't know. I live in El Salvador. <laughs> okay, maybe I live in France. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. One point, two and one. Let me see. Next one. How do you go to school? In car. Okay, so two and two. Next one. Who is your best friend? <laughs> okay, who is your best friend? You have best friend, yeah? Okay. My best friend is Adrian. Okay, Adrian, so that's good. So point for boys. Let's see, next one. Who is your last name? I'm sorry, what is your last name? What is your last name? My last name is De Leon. Okay. Four and two, next one. Who is your favorite actor? Angelina Jolie. <laughs> actor. <laughs> actor, actor, uh, uh, uh. Toby Maguire. Okay. <laughs> okay, five and two. I'm sorry, Abby. Okay, who is your favorite actress? Angelina Jolie. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, five and three, yeah? <laughs> Let's see. Now, next one. What is your favorite movie? Infinity War. Okay. Five and four. Let's see. Next one. How old are you? I, I am 13 years old. <laughs> okay. <there you> go. <laughs> Six and four. Next one. Okay. When do banks open? When do banks open? Uh, <laughs> when? In the morning. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Seven. I don't know this. <laughs> okay, um, when? Cuando? Yeah, during the morning, during the week, from Monday to, uh, uh, to Friday. Yes, okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, next one. When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is, is April Okay, Diego de Leon. <laughs> Eight four. <laughs> so let's see. Next one. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite color? Purple. Purple. 
<laughs> okay, girls. Let's see, eight and five. Next one. Okay, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport volleyball, is soccer. Volleyball, volleyball, volleyball. <laughs> okay, so let's see. One and one, yes. Okay, nine and six. Yes, okay, next one. And the last one. Okay, what do you do on weekends? Mm. I do my homework. Okay. And uh, play dogs. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ten and six. Yeah, so the winners are boys. Excellent. Thank you, Diego.